Welcome to Royal News Updates. OMG. No one believes, Prince George made a decision at rugby match made Harry, William, Kate Middleton, Meghan cry. Before we start, please, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, thanks. Prince George has sent royal fans into meltdown with a cheeky move during England's Six Nations match against Wales. The Prince joined his parents at Twickenham on Saturday where the Duchess of Cambridge scored a victory over her husband with England's 23-19 win against Wales. George sat between his mother and father at the game with the cheeky eight-year-old caught on camera sticking his tongue out. Leading royal commentator Robert Jobson tweeted, Cheeky Prince George, 8, pokes his tongue out as he joins rugby patrons Prince William and Kate Middleton at England v Wales Six Nations match. Another Twitter user, sharing photos of the prince, observed, Our little prince isn't so little anymore. A third commented, He's such a sweetheart. He definitely looks like his mum, Dad and Diana all rolled into one. While a fourth Twitter user said, He's very adorable and serious looking. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were in direct competition for what was the first match Kate attended since becoming patron of the Rugby Football Union, RFU. William has been patron of the Welsh Rugby Union, WIU, since 2016. The couple are known for their rivalry during sporting engagements with the pair sporting their own team scarves. The Duke wore a navy suit and clutched a red Wales scarf while Kate sported a black and white checked coat over trousers, holding an England scarf with her bag. George appeared to strike a diplomatic stance with a red and blue padded Ralph Lauren jacket free from any England or Wales symbols. Before kickoff, the Royals met RFU President Jeff Blackett and Gerald Davis, who is at the helm of the WIU. They also met representatives of the RFU's community and grassroots game, volunteers and RFU council members including Joe Bedford and Commander Kirsty Marler, who represents the Navy on the RFU council. William kept a protective arm around George's shoulders as he encouraged the young prince to shake hands. The Duke said it was a big game, adding, we're excited. It's just so good to be back. It's been quite weird watching games, and football, without the fans. Asked if George would support his mother or father's team, the young prince shrugged his shoulders and smiled at William, who laughed, it's become quite the thing in the house. He then pointed to his wife, adding, she is quite into it. I'm trying to stay out of it. Kate then asked, George to tell the group about how he has started playing rugby at his school. She said, he has all the kit. George spoke about how he has just started learning how to tackle, before turning to his mother, saying, but I haven't tackled you yet. To which Kate replied, laughing, yes you have. Speaking after their meeting, Commander Marla said of George, I get the impression he's yet to choose a team. I asked him which position he plays, but I don't think he's got one yet. It is such an honor to have them all here today supporting the teams and a fantastic surprise to see George. The Duchess was talking about how interested she is in the community game, which is so great to hear. The Duchess, who is known for her love of sport, said earlier this month she was very proud to become the RFU's figurehead, a role which used to belong to the Duke of Sussex. Kate, 40, grew up watching England rugby games with her family who would plan weekends around international matches. Saturday's rugby tournament was not the first time the Duke and Duchess have shown healthy rivalry. The pair competed in a dragon boat race when on a tour in Canada in 2011 with the Duke's boat winning. They leveled the playing field on tour in New Zealand when the Duchess beat her husband in a yacht race in Auckland in 2014. In 2019, the couple faced each other in the King's Cup yacht race off the Isle of Wight. 
However, their chance to compete was cut short when the Duchess's boat was disqualified over a false start. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comment. Thanks. Subscribe to our channel.